folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Studio One Snapshot. Just really quick, I want to just uh, show you guys how to do a drag and drop template and save it so that you can recall it later. All right, let's go right to the classroom. We're going to open up a brand new song. We're just going to open up an empty one. All right, there we go. So we're all set. So what do we want first? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a basic, like a band template. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign and I'm going to say audio. I want them all to be mono, at least for right now. And I think I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start with six tracks. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we got six tracks here. So the first one I want is, um, Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this a little differently here. I forgot something here. I want to bring in my default drum kit. Dum, dum, dum. There we go. So I usually start with the drums, just like this. So this is my drum kit. So we've got that. All right, now we'll do this. Now I'm going to do the bass. And then we are going to do... This we're gonna say guitar one. Guitar two. I'm gonna do this for the solo. And we're gonna do percussion. <clears throat> and then lead vocal all right so this is very basic here so let's see so i've already got impact in here and this is all set to go and the bass uh we can either do audio or we can do a vsc instrument we're going to stick with audio so let's see i'm going to use the taller version of our mixer so that we can do this. Oh, yeah, and I clicked on this little guy here. This is the auto zoom. So if you start to move your mixer around, you'll still be able to see all your tracks. All right, cool. Now you can add sends and stuff later. Usually you would do that after you've done a bunch of tracking and you're ready to process. But for this, uh, let's start with uh, bass. We're going to bring in our effects. And we're going to bring in Empire. Let's see, this is number two. Right here, there we go. Bass. And we're going to go here with one of the presets for the bass. Okay, done. Now for the second, uh, the first guitar, we're going to bring in Empire. And we're going to go with our high density. We're going to go with, let's see, yeah, we'll start with clean. And we'll just go with the top one. And then we'll go to the next guitar. And we're going to go with some crunch. And let's see, the next we have is the guitar solo. So we want to bring this in. And we are going to go with, let's see, lead. Go with the top one. And next one is percussion. We're just going to want to go ahead and use a reverb. So let's just keep it simple. We're going to use the mix verb. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. <clears throat> let's look for the mix verb. Let's see. Where is my mix verb? Oh, you know what? We'll go with open air. I'm just going to drag that right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a send. So we're gonna go with just some rooms. We're just gonna go with chamber. Easy enough. But with this, we are actually going to add this to our send. Boom, there we go. Now we can choose how much we got with that. Oop, did I do it on the wrong one? I sure did. I actually want this over here. There we go. I wanted that on the percussion. <clears throat> Lead vocal. We are going to go with the channel strip. It's really a good way to start because the channel strip 
has uh, the basics that you need. You've got your low cut, you've got your compressor, your uh, your gate expander, and you can choose whatever you want there. We're going to pretend that we're looking for a male vocal on this. So we're going to say vocals, and we're going to say male vocal one. There we go. So that's all set. All right, so now we got open air. We got our channel strip. Oh, did why did I put my channel strip there first? Actually, I want my channel strip up here. Let's see if I can do this here. Let me right click and remove. And then remove this. I'm gonna go with the channel strip. We want the channel strip on the lead vocal inserts. And then we can actually move this over to here to actually have that same reverb on the lead vocal there you go so there we go you got that all set and once you have it all set you can actually go through plug in your guitar and your microphones start testing everything so now to save this template let's just say this is the basics that you want to start with so what we're going to do is we are going to go with file save as template and we are going to call this basic record basic record template just like this we're not going to use any of this other stuff we're not going to put in a um an icon just going to click ok perfect <clears throat> so now when we actually close we do not want to save because i don't want to save this but the next time we go we click on new and here we go basic record template double click and we are ready to go now this is just kind of a drag and drop thing and it kind of gives you an idea on how to start lots of people have different ways to put these things together this is just one of them and i hope you enjoyed the video all right i will see you guys in the next video take care